Welcome to our final Mathematica tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll take a look at finding exact solutions for boundary value problems using the dsolve function, and we'll look at approximating the answer using the finite difference method. Before we start looking at the finite difference method, we'll take a look at several functions that we'll need. Desolve, full simplify, solve, and symbol functions. So we'll start off looking at the desolve function. The desolve function allows us to find the exact solutions to boundary value problems. The syntax is desolve equation 1 equal to a constant 1, equation 2 equal to a constant 2, and so on. The function u and the variable x, where the list of differential equations is solved for the function u with respect to the independent variable x. Another function we need to recall is the full simplify function, which we can use in order to simplify the results from the desolve function. Now just as a reminder, the syntax is full simplify and the expression. Now let's try finding the exact answer of the boundary value problem u prime plus u prime plus u equal to 1 with the boundary conditions u of 0 is equal to 1.5 and u of 3 is equal to 2.5. We'll call our result exact and we'll use the desolve function to solve u double prime of x plus u prime of x plus u of x equal to 1 and the boundary condition u of 0 equal to 1.5 and u of 3 equal to 2.5 and we're solving u with respect to x shift enter and this is the function we get now before we use the full simplify function let's look at the output of the desolve function it contains a rule with a function inside a vector. So we need to both call the equation from the vector and get rid of the rule by evaluating. Now normally, the way we evaluate rules is this way. So u forward slash u and a number. But since we already have the rule, we would just evaluate this way. U exact of 1. Shift enter. And now if we look at the output, we haven't gotten rid of the function form of the expression. We can do so by making the left side of the forward slash in function form as well. So instead of just an expression u, we'll make it a function u of x and shift enter. And now that we have our solution in expression form, we can plug it into the full simplify function and evaluate it if we wanted to. So we'll set u as the full simplified form of u of x evaluated at exact of 1. And let's evaluate that at x equal to 10. Shift enter. And we have our expression and our expression evaluated at x equals 10. Now while the desolve function solves differential equations, the solve function solves systems of linear equations. The syntax for the solve function is solve list of equations and a list of unknowns where it attempts to solve the list of equations with respect to the list of unknowns. And finally, we'll take a look at the symbol function. The symbol function refers to a symbol with a specified name. 
the basic syntax is symbol and the name in quotation marks. But we can also use the symbol function to create a list of several symbols by combining it with a table and two string functions. So let's say we wanted to create a vector containing the symbols x0 to x5. We'll sort this in the variable x, use the table function and symbol, and we want our symbols to have x, and we would use the less than and greater than signs to concatenate x with the two string function. And we want to turn the numbers i into strings. Then our table will run from i going from 0 to 5. Shift enter. And there we have a list of x0 to x5. This application of the symbol function can be very useful to us if we want a vector of variables that varies in size according to the user's input. Now let's say we wanted to grab x from 1 to 4. We could use square brackets with semicolons as follows. So x1 to x4 are the elements 2 to 5. So we'll start at x of 2 and then double semicolon all the way to x of 5. Shift enter and we get our desired table. Now that we've looked at the various functions that will help us, we'll create our own finite difference method function in the next part of the tutorial.